You have probably seen our house swish by in the background here on YouTube these past few years. As you know though, my garden is usually the focal point in my videos. But last winter, we started a large renovation project on the top floor. And I know that a few of you are interested to find out more. This is after all an old house built in the early 1800s in south of Sweden. A house with a lot of memories, that is. I have been filming the entire renovation process since I really wanted to have it on camera. And in this new series, you will get to see the entire journey from room to room. But today I wanted to take you on a first little tour of our top floor, the way it looked before we started renovating it, in December 2019 that is. Let's start in the largest room with windows facing east, south and west. This is what the room looked like before we got started and it has looked this way for 16 years when I got the house. But we only recently started cleaning it out. This room has at some point had wallpaper glued right on top of the lumber. But the wallpaper is long gone now. One of the walls is instead even covered with really old newspapers. Turns out these old houses just don't have a lot of storage space at all. And that's why we... Just like the previous owners have been putting a lot of stuff in here. Things we inherited, things that we plan on saving and other items that we want to throw away. Well, you probably know that feeling. It took us an entire summer to sort, pack and get the things we wanted to keep into storage. The ceiling has never been painted. And the hardwood floor is quite worn out. I decided to have the chimney renovated a long time ago, but it's never been painted. I love these windows though. Simple design and hand-blown old glass. This is the hallway, just outside the room. No one has touched it in ages. The railing is broken and the electricity up here is not permanent. And there's a hole in the ceiling. It's uh, water damage from way back when I bought the house. The seal around the chimney was missing then and the rain just kept pouring inside. One of the smaller walls actually just rotted away. Thank you. 
in here behind this lovely yellow door that was created from an old roof. We have a children's room that I renovated a few years ago. But right now we store items that we want to keep clean in here. Right here, behind these glass doors, we have the, well, master bedroom. It's a sort of a long-term temporary solution where my husband Philip and I and two of our children sleep. And this little room is actually the main reason why I fell for this house from the very start. This is where they used to store the grain. When I bought the house, the walls were covered with large wooden boxes. This is where the farmer used to keep his grain that was carried up the stairs and then emptied right here. I imagine that the mice enjoyed this space too. This is actually all the room was ever used for. No wallpaper, no proper ceiling or door frame. The only way to get to the attic was with the help of a sturdy rod sticking out from the wall. In the attic we had plenty of junk that had been stored here for almost 200 years. Old beehives, uh, shoes, uh, old bottles and newspapers from the Second World War. Mouse poop, cat poop, bat guano, bird poop. Well basically anyone who got the chance uh, pooped in here. <laughs> Both of the windows here on the attic are broken and the south window is especially bad. We can't really do anything about it. There's no flooring here on the attic and a bit difficult to get around. It was finally time to get started on the renovation in early December 2019 after waiting for so, so many years. It actually took a really long time even to find a building company that was willing to take the job. Old houses aren't entirely easy to work on since, well, we don't know much about the process. It's not exactly your average house. On top of that, I also have some opinions about which materials and methods we should use. The wood shingles are still there. I wouldn't let the builders remove it when they redid the roof in 2009. Before that we removed the north chimney since it was in such a bad state. I am so happy that I get to live in such an old and fascinating house. 
and I even enjoy seeing it like this, it really makes me appreciate the hard work they put into this place. Just imagine the know-how that goes into building a house that stands for hundreds of years. It's such a luxury to live here.